Yo, this video is going to be an introduction to the rule of nines uh, when applying it to a child or an infant, someone who has uh, disproportional uh, body parts as opposed to an adult. Uh, if you want to know how to do the adult rule of nines, check out our adult rule of nines video. And if you want to know the clinical significance of why we do the rule of nines, check out our Parkland formula video on, uh, on why we do this or why it's important. You know, this is done by everyone from a first responder to a physician because there are there is some clinical significance to being able to quickly spit out the estimated percentage of total body surface area that's been affected by a burn. Um, so now we're going to talk about how we do this with a child. And you notice in this kiddo here, I drew a really large head, which is the big difference between adults and children, right? They have a disproportionately large ch uh, head as opposed to an adult. Just look at, at a baby or an infant to really hit that point home or think of that. Um, but so the rule of nines, kind of the, the mnemonic or the working memory tool that we were using for the adult is nines, rule of nines, that's in the title, right? So we're going to start with the arms. And each, not, each arm is awarded a nine. So rule of nines, that's the smallest appendage, nines, okay? Um, how this infant differs from, or this child differs from an adult is they have the larger head. So rather than just awarding nine to the head, we're going to award 18 to the head. And the torso is still going to be 36. And then um, here, you know, we talked about in the other video, if you're unsure of what's left, just add, you know, subtract from 100, see what's left, and then you'll divide by two for the two legs. In this case, that would be an awkward 28%. So for child, the rule of nines, legs are the hardest things to remember, and that's because each leg is an awkward 14 instead of being a lovely, you know, uh, 9, 18, 36, multiple of 9. Uh, it's, it's an awkward 14, but again, just subtract from 100 and divide by 2 if you, if you don't want to have to memorize that. Um, now, just like in the other video, um, here we're talking about both sides of the head totaling 18, right? So if the child only has burns on their face, like if they burned into a, uh, you know, boiling pot of, if they fell into a boiling pot of water with their face, which sounds painful, and uh, they only burned the front part of their face, that's just going to be nine, right? It's not going to, the back side of their head is not going to be burned. So just like in the other video, I'm going to change these numbers here into what each side would be, it'd be 4.5, 4.5, and the torso would be 18, 18, so that if they only burnt their backside, it'd only be 18% burn, not the full 36. Catch my drift. Down here would be 7 and 7. You guys are smart, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, if you want to see why this is important, make sure you check out our Parkland formula video. But uh, just like the adult, rule of nines means you start with the nines. Start with the arms. Um, torso is always going to be 36 because it's much bigger than the arms, right? Uh, and then the difference from the adult to the child is the head. In the adult, it's only worth 9% total, and the child is worth 18% total. Hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you check out the Parkland formula. Thank you.